Now that we know what LN stands for, natural log, let's use our calculator to compute some values with the natural log function. First one, natural log of 4. We're going to use natural log button. Notice the parenthesis is given to you. I'm going to enter the input of 4 in the parenthesis and click enter to get my result. 1.386 would be rounded to the third decimal place. Let's try the next one. Natural log of 15.87. The first parenthesis is given to me. I need to add the second one. Enter. 2.764 would be rounded to the third decimal place. Now I'm going to clear this so you can see what happens with the third one. Natural log of negative 5 in the parenthesis. Click enter. It gives me error non-real answer negative 5 is not in the domain of the natural log of x as a function. We're going to see that a little bit later on in this lesson when we look at the graphs of log functions. But now what you need to know is that we cannot take the log to any base of a negative number and so our result and error means that that natural log of negative 5 does not exist. Now the next two are a little different because I want you to use these to understand when values are attached to the natural log and when they are not. In the first one we have natural log of 7 parentheses plus 6. Only the 7 is attached to the natural log. The plus 6 is not. We're going to hit enter to get 7.946 as our rounded value. I'm going to leave in the calculator the first one so you can see what happens when I include the 6 and the 7 in parentheses and then take the natural log. We are going to get a very different result, 2.565. Now I'm going to go ahead and do these last three and then come back to the ones that have some pieces missing here. 5 natural log of 15, 5 natural log 15, and the parenthesis, enter, gives me 13.540. 5 natural log 15, only the 15 is attached to the natural log. Minus 3, enter, gives me 10.540. The last one, 5 natural log, now parenthesis, 15, Minus 3 is all in parentheses. Hit enter. 12.425 is the rounded result there. So pay close attention to what's in parentheses and what's not. What's attached to the log and what's not. Okay, these last three are a little different. We're going to use the relationship between log and exponential form to help us understand the results here. Natural log of e squared. Now remember, log to the base e is the same thing as natural log. So I can rewrite this as log base e of e squared. It's the same thing as what I have here. The answer to that is going to be 2 because the base e raised to the second power is the same thing as e squared. So natural log of e squared, the result is 2. For natural log of e to the negative 2, remember that I can write that as log base e of e to the negative 2. And I'm going to show that here in just a second. Here we go. Log base e of e to the negative 2. That is going to equal negative 2 as a result because e to the negative 2 equals e to the negative 2. So our answer then, natural log of e to the negative 2 equals negative 2. Our last one, natural log of the square root of e, we learned in a previous lesson that the square root is the same as the 1 half power. And I lost part of my equals. There we go. So log base e of e to the 1 half is going to equal 1 half because the base e raised to the half equals e to the one-half. So our answer for natural log of square root of e is going to equal one-half.